We do. And it's not even, um, oh, yeah, I wanted to get to this. Because remember we covered this the other day, remember? Mike Johnson, the new Speaker of the House, he was talking about his black son is going to have a harder time in life than his white son, remember? No, remember that? A, I no, remember that. Uh, yeah, worm, I remember that. Spineless worm. Yep. Whoever, whoever had sent me that quote of him saying that, please send that to me again, because I need to find that. Um, when he said that, because he, he literally said his white son would have a harder time. But guess what? His black son is a career criminal. Um. House Speaker Mike Johnson's elusive adopted 40-year-old son in court on charges of running an illegal cannabis business in possession of brass knuckles. As it's revealed, rap sheet goes back to 2003. He's a so, black man in America. He has no choice. If he has to do that. What do you mean? Here's his, um, here's his mug shots. I wish I could zoom it up, man. Damn, because I, my, my my screen is broken. He's just uh, rebelling against the system that is oppressing black and brown bodies. Exactly. He mm. couldn't get a job any other place, so. Mm. That's yeah, one rough looking the sun, to... man, though. Yeah, I was thinking that. <laughs> you glad us bring this around your family willingly? Like this dude, <laughs> like this, I'm black, so this guy could be my cousin or something. But like, you're white. Why would you bring this guy around your family? For for virtue <laughs> signal points. <laughs> yeah, I've been trying to understand it for forever, and I never will. <laughs> like whites, so what are, some some whites are just so stupid. You can't let you just gotta let them get poverty. <laughs> Like, he looks nice in that top left photo. So what's his mo though? Because he looks to me like a burglar. But what's his mo? Like what is what is he doing? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Let me see. He okay. Here we go. It says um, the odds. Ah, this man would have been seventeen when the Johnsons got married. This person was not raised by them. It still makes you you view his past comments in a different light. Let's see. Here goes the comment right here. Here we go right here. Let's these see. These kids, this. Michael and Jack, is they're both hand. And I've thought often through all these ordeals over the last couple of weeks about the difference in the experiences between my two 14 year old sons, Michael being a black American and Jack being white, Caucasian. They have different uh, challenges. Uh, my son, Jack has an easier path, he just does. They're, the interesting thing about both of these kids, Michael and Jack, is they're both handsome, articulate, really talented kids, gifted by God to do lots of things. But the reality is, and no one can tell me otherwise, my son Michael had a harder time than my son Jack is going to have simply because of the color of his skin. And that's a reality. It's an uncomfortable, painful one to acknowledge. But people have to recognize that's a fact. What should we do about that? I think that we need, uh, we really do need systematic change. I think we need transformative solutions. I think we, we're at a moment where we can begin to do more to form that more perfect union, as it says in the first line of the Constitution. And I've thought. So did you say that he adopted this guy when he was 17? Um, that That's what they're saying. Like it would have, it would have that's when him and his wife got married. So I don't Okay, well, he not- just said that his son was 14. His, his black son was 14. Son, right? yeah, no, he said both my up. sons, my two 14-year-old sons. So what exactly is he talking about? Well, the guy's well, 40 was. now. So this kid was is 40 being 40 now. So this guy would have been seven, would have been 14 in what? Right. Um, I know, but I'm saying like if he adopted him at 17, how does he know anything about him at 14? It was probably at 14 he adopted him then. Maybe Maybe so. right? But, but what, so. what he re- what he really means, like, is my my son. He's a DNA challenge. He's gonna have a harder life as a result. He's gonna be doing stupid shit. You know how it goes. I'm just messed up. He called the kid handsome. He said they're both handsome. This Kinda guy's weird. not fucking handsome, man. I think this dude's a Democrat. Damn, I think he's just crazy. a dude that ran as a Republican, but he's actually a Democrat, like a that's hard crazy. liberal. What up, right. 
Gotta be. So he was he raised that guy in a perfect upper middle class conditions while teaching him that the system was out to get him, and he turned into a loser. This is this an is incredible guy. learning moment for America, but no one wants to hear the lesson. The system got him nonetheless. So what? What it's is this guy? One. What's his son's name? Michael. Uh, Michael James. Okay. Pretty common. He, some, my my bullshit radar is going off with this whole story about this dude. Mm. Yeah, like maybe he just had an agreement with a guy so he could say he had an adopted black. Son. Or or he, he only had him in his house for like a year, less than a year, so he really don't know this dude. <laughs> oh, okay. He, so it says they did adopt him when he was fourteen. Um, he already had a past. Their influence was short, and he credits them with him staying out of prison and homelessness during those years. So the the, the, the son word gives them credit for keeping them out of prison and uh, off the streets. Those during those years, which is yeah, this dude's a weirdo. And, and, and he lived. And he lived to tell. And he lived to tell. Yeah, that, that's the lucky part. I don't know how he made it. I survived that, man. Um, Maybe he would like the door at night, you know? He ain't no sucker. Why well, was he Caleb said, Williams crying? He said with one eye open. He lost, he lost mm. the game. Uh, mm. He lost the third game. I think that's the third loss in a row. He's crying for the money. He's, he's crying because he's losing that, that bag. He's he's that said, bag Damn, why, why'd I stay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She ain't letting that money, that bag go. I'll cry too. Nah, he's still, he's still going to go high. He's still going to be the first pick. That, this, this, you think so? Oh, no, nah, man. Yeah, this ain't, this, this is, this, nah, he, 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 he not going to, no, he, Every team's gonna be like, "Yo, we'll we'll put him on our team with our players." He's a, he's a good quarterback. Like he, with the games they're losing, they're losing like 40, 50, 52 to forty five and shit. It, they're not like losing like because he they're uh -huh. not scoring any points. Yeah, they're losing because the defense can't stop. Oh anybody. damn, true. Yeah, he 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 got he got Which Washington? Washington DC. Oh, Washington University of Washington. Yeah. Um, so uh, did you did you go protest on behalf of Palestine? Um You repping? <laughs> I nah. got the scarf and everything. I had that scarf. No. You uh, out there saying uh, Aloha snack bar? I'm not gonna um, protest for people who would enslave me. <laughs> yeah. And that's putting it lightly. Yo, uh, but I guess not wrong though. If you hear Al Akbar hit the deck, yeah, ask no um, questions, just dive. Yeah, exactly. Or um, don't. <laughs> man, salute the um freshman man coming through. Man, freshman in the building. Salute the Doug Chunks, man. 